beloved saints. Um, I just wanted to start our week out with a Blessed Assurance week. Let's just do the whole week on Blessed Assurance verses. Um, this will be just a general statement about trusting God and not fearing what anyone does to us. Um, there's a lot of people, and I don't, I don't agree with the popularly um, taught view of the book of Revelation. Uh, I, I guess you'd call me a partial preterist, maybe slash idealist, I guess. Um, but regardless of what your view is, too many people are in fear, totally debilitated, totally afraid, paralyzed with fear. Uh, and we, we, we got to get out of this. Jesus won, you guys. He over came the world so we overcome because he did we're in him so i just wanted to look at psalms um 56 today um and you know the psalm is it's a song most of them or many of them are written by david but let's look at this be merciful unto me O god for man would swallow me up he fighting daily oppresseth me Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. I have had this happen so many times where people twist my words on purpose, say things, edit things, they're deceitful and dishonest, to the point where I've been slandered horribly because of it, and it's upset a lot of people, and I wasn't even saying what they say. So this particular verse is, is something else. Every day they rest, that means twist my words, all their thoughts against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. Now remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places however these entities use flesh and blood to serve their evil purposes but we should not fear and you know sometimes we'll see things and the thing we fear does happen your house does burn down but I told you guys I was given strength that day, not before that day. And I was prepared a few weeks before I knew something was coming and I didn't know what. I kind of got an idea, but he gave me the strength when I needed it, not before. And I knew clearly this is meant to throw you off, to destroy you, to distract you, to make you just, just devastated. God will use this as a testimony. He'll turn it into good. you got to let him. And so as hard as that is, it was amazing how, even though I was grief-stricken, you know, with the animals and stuff, and worried about my son and traumatized, I knew God was with me. There was not a doubt that he had forsaken me. There, there, there's nothing can replace that feeling nothing so even if that bad thing happens even if they do put you in jail even if you do lose the job so what God is our provision not our job not our government not this not that God our daily bread today we're okay and that's all we can do 
Don't worry about tomorrow. It's got its own worries. You got enough today. Today. Just deal with today. That's all you can do. We're so busy living and worrying about stuff that did happen and being traumatized by it in the past. Or worried about what's going to get us tomorrow. That we never live today. The, the today is always either past or future for us. Because we never live in it. It's true. So don't don't fear what they do. And even if it looks like the worst thing's happening. If God's allowing that, then he has purpose for it. And you've been chosen. Just like it says, chosen to suffer for his namesake. They rejoiced. I know that's not what we want to hear. That he's going to get us out of all our troubles. And he will. No no trap set up is going to catch us. Unaware. God's aware of it. But if he want, wishes to use it for good somehow, we just have to trust him. What if Joseph would have given up all those years? But he was made the second most powerful man in the world. He had done nothing wrong over and over again. Falsely accused, imprisoned, sold into slavery, then thrown into prison again. Did nothing. But look what God did. He was used. It wasn't. Sometimes it's not even all about us. It was to save millions of people's lives during a famine. It wasn't even just about Joseph. You know, so don't fear. And like it says, if God be for us, who could be against us? So what? So what if you got people that hate you? So what if you people are literally conspiring to destroy everything that you try to do? So what? Are they greater than God? It's frustrating, but they're not greater than God. Have trust in him. And you know, with that being said, we need to trust him when it says he'll never leave you, forsake you. That Jesus obtained eternal redemption for us. And that whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. He is Savior. He achieved it. He did it all. Believe it? I hope so. Okay, guys. So all this week we're going to do some salvation assurance this was trust god he'll always take care of you it might not look the way you want it to look might not be hearing what you want to hear but he will always use things for good trust him he directs our lives god bless you guys have a good week i know monday's not everybody's favorite <laughs> god bless you Thank <laughs> you.